YouTube subscribers, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Oh my god, what a week, what a week, what a week. Do you remember last week where we were? Let me show you. I'll show you. I'll go over here and get it. Okay. Gotta hold it high. Gotta hold it high because it doesn't fit right now. <laughs> This is where we're at with our piece, and I told you we were going to take it up a notch and go three-dimensional. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it so much. Okay, go over here. <laughs> so, I kind of made a, a scrawled out some trees that kind of represent what's going on. I got two glue guns over here, and one decided to take a nap, so I got him posted up. <laughs> This is brown, um, and next week, or the following week, we're going to be making our own glue sticks as soon as I get my new glue guns. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and follow my little thingy here. Now, this is a glue gun I have not used in forever, forever. It's got a really tiny tip. Kind of cool. This has to have a bit of an angle. It makes weird noises. Oh, why are you so noisy? You talking to me? You talking to me? Okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> not touching it, not touching it. Okay, now. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one kind of goes, it's kind of fat in the middle, so we'll go out. Uh. Now, this isn't meant to cover the whole painting. This is just meant to give textural... Je ne sais quoi to the to the total piece. So we're just looking for some je ne sais quoi and some arms that go up into the canapé. Canapé, not not something you can eat. <laughs> oh my God, we're out of brown. Hang on, I got I got some more brown. Got to get a brown stick. Brown stick. Going for a brown stick. Where's my glue? Oh, we're in the other thing. Oh, oh, there's no brown. Okay, I'm out of brown. We'll go with green. Brown's down. We're going for the green. Okay. I it probably I probably won't need it, but it's cool. Gotta look at the peas. I like the hosers, the hosers. guys I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit then we'll come back and paint them I'm gonna turn my two glue guns off let them chill get them out of the way and I will see you on momentito all right guys welcome back everything's dry ready to roll ready to roll um I did pull off all the glue hairs and I made a couple of little guys <laughs> Um, I kind of slid you down out of the glare. Uh, yeah, see, we can go this far. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we're going to hose it. We're going to hose it down. That's right. We're hosing down the color. Um, the wonderful color. I'm going to get my little board heel. I have a board. I have a board for this. 
And uh, let's see, I'm going to pull, I'm going to go with uh, terracotta. This is a, a Sharpie color. Argyle, another Sharpie. Uh, Bitterwood, uh, which is a Cali Art color. Uh, Forest Green, which is Jacquard. Uh, teal, which also has some micro, micro um, powder in it. The beautiful Kiwi is right in there. All right. So, I'm going to hit it up first with the bitter wood. Brown on brown. Brown on brown. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to go to the teal. Woo! And then after the teal... I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with white. This is Jacquard's white. I'm going to put you back there because you know what? If it don't fit, you can't commit. <laughs> um, do yourself a favor. Wear a respirator if you're messing with uh, stuff like this. I got a fan going, so it's all good. And what this white does is it's bringing out all those colors. I know you can't see it. I will show you here un momentito. Loose fit. Uh, now let's go with the Argyle, which is kind of a beautiful bright red, orange, but I don't know, purpley thing. I love her. Don't wear her out. She's great. And on top of that, we are going to put the Terracotta. No, Bitterwood. Bring back some of that brown. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. Okay. You're so gorgeous you don't even know how gorgeous you are. Uh, forest Green. And we're going to put this with some um, Sharpie Golden Yellow. It's a very, very light translucent color. And she will not show up until we add the white. To which we're going to do again after we add some more. Some, uh, don't get your cappies on. I'm so bad with caps. <laughs> All right, this grass green. Alright, we're going to hit this up one more time with white. Not so much. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Ooh, alright. Uh oh, that, see that cap doesn't fit, so that's wrong. Oh, I'm, I'll deal with that later. Alright, everybody go home now. Go home with your caps on. Go home with your caps on. Here we go. Everybody's accounted for. Oh, what didn't we use? Oh, we didn't use coral. Let's just use coral. Why not? I had her out. Oh. <laughs> Don't ask for a list of colors, because I'm just using what I got in my pile over here, and I know it makes beautiful stuff. Okay. So we'll fan this off a little bit. Fanning, fanning, fanning. Fanning, fanning, fanning. And, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's wet. Okay, I'll see you un momentito. But before I do, I'm going to bring this up to the camera so you can see all the pretty colors. Kind of hard to see the tree for the forest of stuff behind it. <laughs> so I'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, for you, no time at all. For me, ah, a beer. <laughs> see you in a minute. All right, guys. Now we're ready. We are ready to start putting the pieces together. Ooh, oh, oh, gather, 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 gather. Heart, heart. <laughs> 
All right, I need some gloves. I'm gonna reach over here and get me some gloves. Oh. Okay. Ooh. So, how was your week? My week was so intense. I mean, fed a lot of people. It was great. Uh, made a lot of platters. I love the creativity in making platters. So, let's look at the colors. What do we get? Oh. Oh. You see that? So beautiful. Slippery little devil. Get over here. Eh. <laughs> Ooh, this one is so tree barky. It's off the charts. All right. So here's what I'm going to do with these guys. And I'm going to put them over here for now. These uh, little guys, like I said, I was just, it's an experiment. It's an experiment. You know, you can't have uh, too much fun with glue because, yes, you can. <laughs> So I'm just going to put these guys off to the side over here. I'm going to show you where they go. These big guys go. Ah. Sorry for the glare. Sorry for the glare. All right. <laughs> uh, this guy's going to go here. Oh, I love it. I love it. This guy is going to go over here. Oh, look at how you go. You go there. You go. Oh, yes. It's awesome. So now what we're going to do, uh, what I'm going to do while you watch me do what I have no clue what I'm doing, but it's in my mind. My mind. Okay. So I'm going to take these guys here and let's work out the map. All right. Let's work out the map. Okay. Wow. Oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. We're doing math. That's what we're doing. We're doing the math. Oh. Ooh, look at you so little. I'm going to keep the little pieces over there. Oh. Where'd you go? down there. Nah. Nah. This is called reindeer moss. It's it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. It's so fluffy. It's fluffy. Fluffy nutters. Oh, look at you. Tiny. Oh, God, tiny. Whoa. No. Too loosey goosey. Well, that was a good one. There's a good one. There we go. Now, you asked me how many keep track of this reindeer moss. <laughs> I have no idea. That's a little too organic inorganic. Uh, maybe if we push it down. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Eef. Oh that works. Right. Smells really weird. <laughs> it smells like a chemical. Here we go. We've got a low one right there. We'll flip it. Flip. Ooh. Alright. So I'm going to take this reindeer moss and um we're gonna we're gonna hose her yeah we're gonna hose her we're gonna hose her down uh, oh. oh that one looks bright it says pick me pick me it's a heart oh that is so cute <laughs> all right let me put the rest of this back in here Reindeer moss is awesome. I'm going to leave some of these bits out here. Who knows? We can maybe throw them in the mix. I don't know. So, uh, what I bought to glue the reindeer moss down is uh, super glue gel. Dries clear real fast. 
So uh, we'll have a bunch of fun with that. I'll put that right here for right now. So here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to lay these out on the tweed. Looks like this one. Two. You see how this thing comes in handy when you're done? Because <laughs> once I've picked out my stuff, I don't have to think about what order they go back in. They just go back in the order that I have them in right now. All right, see? Boop! Boop! Ha-ha! <laughs> okay. So now we hose. We hose. We give them love. And for the lovins, we're going to use terracotta um, and bitterwood and definitely forest green. Yeah. So let's go with the forest green first. Because I'm crazy like that. I'm just going to deepen them up a little bit. Give them a little green. Green, 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 green. I do that when I get to headlights or not street lights, right? I see it's yellow and I'm like, go green, 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 green. <laughs> or it's red, actually. I see it when it's red and I'm like, I, I do the green, green. It works a lot of the time. A lot of time I don't. What you do? Okay, this is um bitterwood. You know what this needs? Some red. <laughs> so on top of the bitter wood, I'm going to go ahead and apply the argyle, which again is a sharpie weird color, like red, kind of, I don't know, pink, orangey, thingy. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, more. More argyle. More, you're so pretty. Okay. And then we're going to top this off with some terracotta. Oh, uh, again, a Sharpie. I love my Sharpies. Now, keep in mind, when you make colors with alcohol inks or mica powders, you're going to get a flat color. You're not going to get the gloss that Jacquard inks would give you. But that's okay. That's totally okay. Because... Jacquard inks won't move, right? They're solid, they're acrylic, kind of like like some kind of a paint additive to them. They're shiny, they're beautiful, but you can't manipulate them. Unlike um, Sharpies and mica powders, you can go back in, like this is wet, so I'll give you an example. Let's say this was a dried mica powder. I could go back in and I can make, uh, I can lighten a space. I can um, move another color into that space. Th this is a bad example, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's very different, and um, some, someday I'll give you an example of what that's like, okay? But for now, this is done. Um, I don't have to wait for this to dry, so eh, let me figure this out, all right. Um, hmm, hmm. I'm going to shift the camera over here and we're going to glue down our trees and uh, we'll do everything off to the side. Get your side eye on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm really grateful for my camera because she's so flexible. Uh, And I spent the money on a, another camera, but, you know, that thing's got to sit on a pedestal, and it doesn't, you know, this one I got, I got hooked up, and I can move her around any way I want, and uh, she's actually hooked up to a, um, uh, she's hooked up to, um, a iPhone hookup, it, it literally, like, I got her flat down in that, so, She's a good girl. She just, she, you know, she don't know. 
but I can spin her like this and then you can watch, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it, Peter. Okay, so, um, oh, you make sure you're in camera. Okay, let's see how far I can take her over here. Come on, I know you wanna. Oh, look at you. Oh, we're at it. We're out of picture. Uh, can we go this way? All right, perfecto, al mundo. Woo! All right. Um, you see how small my studio is. <laughs> I can't back up. No backing up. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna glue everything down. So we have our super glue. Oh. Okay. Altoid slash nicotine. All right. So we got this guy here, whom I love very much. Who could look like right there? Now, that's for another time. Uh, this piece, in case anybody wants to know, I'm uh, I'm making it for my friends at work uh, in another department. So I am on the lead. Uh, do I have to poke it? Do I have to poke it? I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, I'm a lead, uh, oh, come on, oh, here we go, so I'm the lead, um, uh, lead catering person, and, um, lead event cooking person, so I cook for hundreds of people, and the department that I cook for is called the catering department, and they deliver the food that I cook to all these people. I have never seen a more stressed out area in my whole life. Now here I am cooking hundreds for hundreds of people. Sometimes, sometimes I could be cooking for people like the parties could be back to back at the do at the same exact time. The same time I'm telling you, I could do 50 52 people and then 30 freaking people all at the same time. One could be a, an Italian party for Parmigiano. You know, Parmesan chicken, arugula salad, everything. Oh my God, it goes on and on and on. But these guys are so stressed out. They're so stressed out. So I thought I would, um, and I'm not stressed. I'm like, I'll go with the flow. I've been doing this for years. I could do this for days. I've been a chef my whole life. It's so much fun to create. Why would you be stressing out? I mean, I don't get it, but I guess, I guess what I'm thinking is they lack processes. I don't know. It's not for me to help. I mean, I'll, I just see them stressed and it, it, it just makes my heart sad because I work so hard on this food, how hard could it be to deliver it to the room where, you know. But so, I decided I was going to make them something for their space. And this is, this is the piece I'm making for their space. So they can take a chill pill. They need to take a chill pill. Seriously. <laughs> Am I right? Come on. So... That's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving them, I'm making them a chill pill. You know, I might have to go with my other glue because this is just not, it's not helping. Back, back. It doesn't come out fast enough. Um, oh, we got you right here. And then again, Gorilla Grip always comes forward with the best glue available Two man kind. So I'm just gonna put this stuff out. It's really thick. It's very thick. How thick is it? It's very thick.
working. It's working. Now, um, I'm going to be spraying this down with, uh, ah. boop, boop, boop. I'll let that other stuff go off into the distance, I think. Um, I'm going to be hosing this down with, uh, an acrylic, um, How they poopy poop poop. Um, an acrylic top, so Oh, we're doing good, guys. Right to the edge. Right to the edge. Look! Alright, let me, uh... My glue's having a fit here. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. There we are. <laughs> See what we've done? It's so awesome. That's a stick. Oh, this stick is cool. So, we've laid the groundwork. Um, what about those little pieces? I don't know. Let's pull them out. would actually fit right there I think me thinks super good <laughs> maybe we need one more fuzzy like right there but it's oh it's so bright uh, gosh Jill come on I just bought this today and apparently there's not that much in a in a in a jug apparently mm, let's just go with this teal oh I'm gonna spray it down here I'm spraying in my hand everybody for me. <laughs> yeah. Paper towels. Okay. So, we kind of brought the forest to life, didn't we? Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to let this dry. We're going to come back and we're going to paint some details up in here and be done. And then, uh, well, almost done. Um, I'm going to spray this down before I give that to them and I will um, definitely uh, post a small video of, of how this looks when that's all done but I will see you guys here in just a few a uh, few for me and not so much for you <laughs> and uh, we'll finish this puppy up yes it's so much fun all right guys everything's dry and we are going to do just a little bit of paint work here just kind of tie things together and um this should be really cool <laughs> if not then it's a big fail for me who cares i love it and um let's do this ting so i have some havana brown i have a tin that i already have some looks like brown colors in there i'm just going to put the havana in there this tin looks to be green and teal so i'm going to go ahead and put the lime green in there 
Save your tins. <laughs> Everything can be reactivated. That's the cool thing about alcohol inks. I mean, same with watercolors. You know, you can reactivate watercolors that have dried with watercolor. I'm going to take a fine brush here that uh, has obviously had its fair share of gumminess. I should <laughs> wish I had a new one, but I don't right now. I do somewhere around here, but I ain't going to take time to look because that's just me. Savannah Brown. A little Havana brown, a little green. <laughs> Doesn't need much. Happy day calling this one done. Uh, so I guess let's do this now. I have no problem doing this now. Let me just, uh, I'm going to move everything away and get the fan recharged. Because I did turn her off. And we're going to hose her. Hose her down. Hose her down. <laughs> Um, I probably, uh, yeah, I'm going to do everything I can to protect her, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, everything's ready to go. I am using Perfect Match Automotive paint. This is a protective clear coat finish that has a UV rating on it. And um, because this is particle board or canvas board, it 
I don't want to weigh it down with heavy um, uh, epoxy. So I've never used this one before, so I probably have to unclip it. There we go. Eee, eee, eee. All right, so um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a newbie with this stuff. I'm an epoxy resin person. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to hoser, hoser on this side first. Oh. Wetter is better, I guess. That's okay. If this coating sucks, what I'll do is, is I'll epoxy. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Oh, and my paint is, is like warping. How cool is that? That's really cool. I'm sure everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Oh, I like what's going on with this tree. I'm just going to, um,. Quicken up the drying phase here. Cuddles. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very sticky. pretty good I should have looked for the expiration date on that can that my husband gave me <coughs> but I didn't yeah let's see artifacts they are coming up which is awesome Whoa, that looks so totally cool. Alright, so. Um, uh, yeah. It's glossy and all that stuff now, but you know what? Tomorrow, we epoxy resin this bitch. <laughs> I just like that that high gloss I mean this has a high gloss and it's cool we'll see what it looks like tomorrow I mean I'll let you know I'll let you know um, but for now I can't call it done I can't call it done because let me show you the difference all right let me show you the difference This is epoxy resin over the top of the moss. It's gorgeous. This is not so much as shiny. But we'll see. I may change my mind. Who knows? I'm an Italian. I, I got the rights, right? Right? I got the rights to change my mind? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it definitely glossed everything up. Um, I don't know. Oh, those are all nice and squishy. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I resin this? Or should I leave her just the way she is? This gorgeous... Uh... Oh, she is pretty. <laughs> I'll give it that. Um, you tell me in the comments below. In the comments. Try to give me a comment. Should I put epoxy on her? Or should I leave her just the way she is? Um, let me know by tomorrow because that's my last day off. And that's when I'm going to be working this puppy again if I have to. And, you know, it's not have to or want to. It's want to. I will sleep on it. 
and probably make my own decision. But your comments, you know, you tell me. Sometimes I can overdo stuff. I don't know. I'm goofy that way. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys. This is Denise from Seuss Art saying, Ciao, Bella. I love you. And thank you to all my new subscribers. And most especially, I want to thank uh, the communications company that has asked to use my videos across gosh knows how many stations and how many countries. I'm so thrilled. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, life is good under the hood. Haha. <laughs> Love you guys. Ciao, bella.